Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is lecture series 7, Network Security dealing with Secure Socket Layer, in short called as SSL. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. What is SSL? Secure Socket Layer. This is a kind of protocol which is followed by the client and the server for complete secured data communication between the each end. So with this SSL protocol, the client and the server ensures that the data will be completely transferred, which will be completely encrypted, which will not be seen or absorbed by the hijacker or attacker. So it, it follows a confidentiality and authentication between the client and the server. So this SSL protocol, here we are seeing about the architecture of SSL protocol wherein you have IP layer and TCP layer on which we are using SSL record protocol. It is having different kinds of protocol in it. Handshake protocol, change cipher spec protocol, alert protocol and HTTP being the application. So these are the protocols which we'll, we'll be seeing in detail in the upcoming series of video. Now in this video, we'll be concentrating on how SSL protocol is functioning. What are the parameters it is necessary to function a protocol, SSL protocol. So seeing in depth, your SSL concept is divided into SSL connection and SSL session. In connection, we ensure that it is an end-to-end -end connection peer-to-peer -peer relationship or client-server model. So when you have each connection, each of the connection that is set up by the client or the server will involve one session in it. So within one section, a session, a data can be transferred, uh, might be uh, 24 bytes of data can be transferred in one particular session. So each of the connection must ensure that it is having one session. This connection, it will provide any kinds of services like authentication, maintaining integrity, encrypting the complete data. So based on the demands of the client and the server, your SSL conne connection ensures that it gives all types of services. SSL session, it is nothing but it is a set of cryptographic security parameters. It defines many security parameters in terms of algorithm in terms of checksum or in terms of authentication process which involves cryptographic methods. So for that security parameters to be defined, first the client and the server or the peer-to-peer -peer model should create an handshake protocol. That is the client and the server must ensure that they both are connected in particular network and the data transferred between them is completely encrypted and not seen by any third person. So it is completely associated with your client and the server. Next, seeing about the parameters which is associated with SSL connection. So your SSL connection has seven parameters. First one being server and client random. So as the name specifies, it is nothing but it is a sequence of bytes that is chosen by the client and the server for each of its connection. So it ensures that based on the sequence number, the data is communicated. Second one, server write MAC secret. It is nothing but it is a secret key. What secret key? The secret key is generated by the MAC operator and it is sent by the server. Same thing when, when it is happening with the MAC operation and the secret key is generated by the client, then it is known as client write MAC secret. Coming to fourth parameter, server write key. Server write key is nothing but it is a encryption key, secret encryption key. Why we use encryption key? For encrypting the data. So this secret encryption key is used for encrypting the complete data so at the server end, it will be encrypted and the client end, it will be decrypted. So same thing happens here in client write key. What happens here is at the client side, it is encrypted. And when it reaches the server side, it is decrypted. And being the sixth one, 
initialization vector it is nothing but so when you uh, when you want to initialize uh, initialize a connection between the client and the server we obviously choose the handshake protocol after the handshake is done between the client and the server there are blocks of data that has been transmitted across the uh, uh, network which ensures that uh, the complete cipher text block is pre preserved at that initialization vector and finally it is the sequence number sequence number is nothing but each of your client or the server who is making connection obviously needs a sequence number like how much data is transmitted how much data is received say for example when a client is sending or receiving a set of messages so each of the messages should have a sequence number being the first message that is transferred will will have a sequence number zero and second one one so it keeps on going till two to the power of 64 minus one till that you will have sequence number generated next seeing about the parameters with which the ssl connect session is associated you have six parameters wherein first one is session identifier it is nothing but it is a byte sequence which is chosen by the server why a sequence number is required to identify which session is active or which remains in a resumable state next peer certificate peer certificate is nothing but it is a certificate provided to the peer members that is the client so this is nothing but it is optional if the client obviously needs that certificate he can he or she can avail it compression method the third one so this is nothing but it is an algorithm which is used for compressing the data before the encryption takes place it the data will be first compressed and then encryption take place next is cipher set spec this is nothing but it is it is a bulk data encryption that is occurring so you will have an algorithm like hash algorithm md5 md5 is message digest algorithm so such kind of algorithms will be used which is used for bulk data encryption and it will be finally used for mac calculation so it will be in a uh, in, in a mode of cryptographic form the fifth one being master secret parameter master secret is nothing but it is a secret code 48 byte secret which will be shared only between the client and the server finally coming to the sixth parameter is resumable yes so this is nothing but it is a flag which indicates whether the session can be used to initiate any new connection or not whether it can be resumed or not in which state it is so that is why we use this is resumable parameter so these are the parameters that is considering the architecture of ssl which is having two uh, uh, two services that is ssl connection and session with different parameters associated with it please be stay tuned for more information thank you